Hey, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be doing uh, the fourth soak on my pair of Brave Star Co Mills denim after 400 plus wears, all right? Uh, so this is the pair of jeans that we're gonna be washing today. And what I'm gonna do is just, you know, I've got some spots on here I need to clean, so I'm gonna throw these in the tub. Uh, I'm gonna scrub off the spots that need to be cleaned. I'm gonna let it soak for about an hour. After that, I'll dry it uh, with the methods I've done in these videos up here that, you know, if you click on these tabs, here or there, wherever they are. Um, we'll show you the other three videos where I did the first soak, second soak, and third soak uh, after 100, 200, and 300 wears. So yeah, let's take a look at the denim. Let's get a little closer look, and then we'll throw these in the tub, and I'll get them clean, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's just take a quick look from the overhead. Uh, here you can see uh, the front of the jeans. Like I said, 400 plus wears. And uh, we'll just kind of take a look here. You know, knee fades, got the cell phone fade, which I am not a fan of. Uh, next pair of Brave Stars I'll be putting the phone in the back pocket or in my jacket. Uh, we got some nice whispering going on. Uh, I did trip and fall, uh, bringing in Christmas gifts from Santa, uh, but I patched this and sewed it up. So I think it looks great. And if we look down here, you got some fraying around here. Uh, that's definitely attributed to me. Uh, not washing these much at all. Again, I think next pair, I might uh, wash them a little more frequently just to avoid that. But let's flip these over and take a look. All right, here's the back side. You can definitely see the wallet fade. Um, oh, and one more I want to show that I, I really like. Uh, I got a little, you got a little pocket knife fade here too. All right, anyway. Um, so yeah, the one thing everyone talks about they like is the patch. Uh, if you go back to my original video, you'll see that was raw leather. Uh, now it's got a really nice color to it, all right? Uh, so let's back off and look. You know, we've got the knee, we've got everything going on here. I think these um, have turned out really nice. Uh, considering I wear these all the time, all right, these look really good. And right, I like it. And again, I mean, you got some somewhere here but the crotch and the butt is kind of where you're going to see the most wear. I think it looks fine. I like it. So like I said, there's some dirty spots on here. I'm going to get these cleaned up and we're going to throw them in the tub. I'm going to clean them up in the tub and we'll go from there. All right, so let's go do that. Okay, so we're at the tub right now. We're about to get to work now. One thing people have asked me uh, if this denim smells bad. No, I mean, honestly, I'm not lying. Uh, I mean, I don't work out in these or anything, but yeah, after 400 wears, uh, soaking them every 100 washes, they still smell okay. So I've got some spots on here I'm going to scrub that I've identified, and my daughter also spilled milk on these the other night, so I'm going to scrub that off. All, right, all I'm going to use is just an old toothbrush uh, my kid, from my kids, all right? And it's best to scrub them before you get them wet, otherwise you won't see where the dirt is. Also, turn the cuffs inside out because all your dirt is going to get trapped in there. And you want to get that out as well. You just put it in the tub, it doesn't, doesn't fucking matter. So, there that leg. Right, right. Same thing with this cuff.
All right, and that's it. You just weight it down. You let them soak. Uh, I'll probably leave them in here an hour, maybe two hours, and then we'll come back and we'll wrap up from here. All right, so I actually got busy and left these in here about two hours. So let's take a look at what we got here. All right, so what you just want to do is, I mean, you've seen the other videos I've done, right? Just kind of let them dry off, shake them off a little. Get them thrown on a towel. Like this. All right, so there is the remains of 2020, people. Disgusting. I should have cleaned these jeans more. All right, now, like I said, I got them on the towel. We're just going to fold them up. All right, this is how you do it. Get all that excess water out of them. Roll them up good. Alright. Alright. And normally I air dry these outside, but it is about 30 degrees today, so I don't want these to freeze. I'm gonna throw them up over my curtain rod. Gotta clean up my mess. And when these are a when these are pretty damp, uh, almost all the way dry, what you're gonna do is then, like I've done in my other videos, you're gonna put those on uh, when they're almost dry and kind of wear them around. They'll form up a little bit nicer to your body and we'll be set. So after we get these dry <laughs> and I break up this fight, we'll look at those fades. Thank you. All right, here we are. These jeans have dried out overnight. So now let's take a look at kind of just what it looks like before I throw these on and do a little spin around and check them out. So yeah, it definitely looks like, you know, some more of the dye came off, which was the desired effect. It's what I wanted. A little more fading, a little more prominentness. I don't even know if that's a word. Uh, yeah, so, you know, let's flip these over and see what the backside looks like. All right, so I'm just gonna have to clean this area up here. I guess there was still toothpaste on that toothbrush. Uh, either way, who cares? That's my fault. So make sure that toothbrush is clean uh, before you scrub. But yeah, everything's looking good. All right, uh, I guess we'll throw these on in a moment and just kind of see what it looks like. I get some close-ups there. <laughs> I think, I mean, you're really starting to see the, the threads coming out. Uh, I mean, that patch looks really good. Let's take a look at that. All right, we'll get a close up on the front again. And then I'll clean up that little mistake of mine. And we'll see how these look. Yeah, this is, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Brave Star. I'm about to, I'm calling them today and ordering a couple more pairs. Definitely check them out. Highly recommend it. Okay, look at that. All right, so we're gonna throw these on now and uh, I'll be back. All right, so here we go. I've put the jeans on. They're nice and snug, uh, like they always are after a soak. And we'll just do a quick spin around so you can see. Also note, I have the Brave Star Raw Leather Belt. I'll be doing a video on that probably in another month to show the progress on that. Uh, if you're not familiar, check out their website. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so here we are. Here's the front. We'll just do a rotation here. All right. I think they came out pretty good. I'll get a little closer. Um, kind of take a look here. Overall, I am very impressed with, I think, the color that these have turned into. Uh, if you look at the first time I wore these, after 100 wears, they're really dark still. Uh, these look awesome. I think at this point, I'll probably clean them more frequently so that 
Uh, the dirt doesn't wear away all the all the denim and I have a few distressed areas that are starting to wear through. So at that point, I think it's wiser just to clean these more often. Uh, otherwise the dirt becomes abrasive and we get like what you saw here in my cuffs. Uh, you can start seeing that throughout your denim. If you want ripped jeans, keep doing what I've been doing and only wash them every 100, 200 times. Um, but at this point, like I said, I'm gonna throw these into my rotation and just clean these a little more often. I'm gonna have a couple more pairs of these coming in and I'll be doing videos on those. Uh, they're gonna be heavier denim and I have a mystery pack coming and we'll do that. So thanks for watching. 2020 is almost over. Overall, I think we did all right. We made it. A few more days left in this year. Everyone be positive. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.